Okay, guys, let's take a look at Sands of Time, the upcoming next release. It's actually going to be a beta. Maybe let's call it an alpha. After SKSE64, the alpha. Because once you combine Sands of Time with the MCM menu, you get a whole different type of mod. As you're gonna see in a few seconds. So can't pass this up. Now saving the game with the RFI when it is done automatically by a program from a script, I'm told it's corrupting files. Don't know if that's true, but if it is, you have to be careful and save manually before you exit and then only load that save. Huh? Anyway, hopefully this is temporary until 5.1 Sky UI is released, hopefully this weekend. Let's take a look and see what it looks like. <clears throat> and for that, by the way, I had to sacrifice my sedan sound. I'm sorry, sedan video. My three monitors. I'm looking at two black monitors left and right, which I hate. But I do so like getting the menu back. As you will see here. System. Mod configuration. Look at that. It's been so long. Anyway, sense of time. Let's take a look. 19 pages, guys. 19. 19 or 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14. 14? Interesting. It shows 19 in the script. Oh well. Let's go with 14 for now. Here, look, we can activate with a menu. Isn't that cool? <clears throat> then we have the presets, milk drinker, and so on. Disable the extended health that so many of you get freaked out about. Select the presets with descriptions. But normally we'll just go here and activate mod. Exit and let it do its thing. Look at that MCM registered seven new menus. And this, by the way, is in Skyrim SE, obviously. But I wouldn't be making this big a deal about the menu. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So, anyway, in a few seconds, let's get all, I can't help myself. I'm already getting stuff. Mod army. See, there we go. <clears throat> Without having to use the um, the ring of danger, the Sandman, nothing. Very nicely registering right there. So now we go back to my configuration. We go back to sense of time. Let's now look at status. You can suspend different things. This is something you cannot do in the um, in the book. It was just too much work. But look at this. You can suspend surface, surface enhancer. Um, it tells you what it is on the bottom. Dynamic dungeon encounters, wedding encounters in dungeons, fast travel. By the way, there's no fast travel, so ignore that. I'll take that out later. Um, there's actually no sleep sleep ambushes either, so I guess I got work to do later. Um, by the way, the rest all work fine. <clears throat> Not presets, milk drinker, here we go. Spark and recommended. The graduation level. When will the game actually get hard? You can change that. And if you forget what they are, it does list them over here. Milk drinker to nightmare. Fizz, I'm not really using anymore. So I forget that. Surface encounters. It was you where you can easily now set the odds. Look at this, Dice Roll Daytime Adjuster. Something that you don't even get access to with the, with the book menu. Um, the likelihood of not having an encounter in the daytime hours. 
So, you are, say, no matter what the odds are on top, you're 90% less likely to have a, an encounter in the daytime. So, stuff like that. Levels at which high spawns are allowed. You can do that. Disable attacks while waiting. Something you cannot do with the other in the book. Oh, this crazy option. Surface where you encounter is mob. Did you know we had mob surface attacks? I bet you didn't know that, right? That you could actually decide how big is the mobs of, of attackers. Um, that you can make the um, undead, the FX undead. But the necromancer, you can make them slower. Um, how much slower. You can have some weak undead in that group. Not, not, this is not the um, the um, zombies with the with the apocalypse. This is a different type of undead. But all these options that you didn't know you had. Surface enhancer. Um, again, you can set the odds for, for that type of, of encounters. Now, odds of vanilla versus custom encounters. You don't have this option in the book. Okay, this determines where you have an SOT custom um, event, NPC hostile event, or this one, regular vanilla event. You can, you can actually set which one you're more likely to get. Ah, catch me a cold. Um, you set all tones to one, accept. And now we can say bandits are 20 times more likely to appear than bears or or the raw out giants let's say high gravens 5% less likely than the ones so you can customize what you think should appear more isn't that cool? you can actually do that Surface encounter timer. Disable NPC cleanup. So you can actually loot if you want to. Oh, that can be done. Don't do encounters. You can set that as well. What type of how the how the actual how the spawns actually are determined? What makes them appear? Whether odds space or tactical stealth space for stealth players. See, stuff like that. Like there was there's no way to make all this into a book. It's just too much. Turn on the spirit spawn system, the hostile detection, detection system. I mean, some of this stuff, I forgot I put, I put in here. Apocalypse. What level they start? Second for deleting bodies. Oh, this has been killing me, okay? Like 80 seconds should be better. I've been losing look like crazy. How many waves of zombies? See? Awesome, awesome. Assassin encounters. Levels when assassin can attack. Um, odds of getting a spider. And here is the great stuff too. So my father weapon. Some of you don't like the deadly weapon. We'll make it mild. Okay? Mild. Um, what happens with daggers when you get them? The Ford level is strength or broken. You know, you think it's, it's it's not with lore to get a high level dagger or an axe or or my father exploding out of those, then okay, break them. Or level restrict them. See, you can do all that stuff. Also, odds my father weapon will self destroy when found. You can make it oh uh, Well, this is not working. Interesting. Allow can be your assassins. Yes or no? I'll fix that later. Um, but even with, with this not functioning, you got all oh, this stuff that's working. You can decide the odds of an assassin attack per city in Riften, White Run, Solitude, Windhel Windhelm. You can decide. There's one or two more cities that you cannot decide, but this much you can. You can decide the odds of getting attacked in the wilderness by Befana assassins. 
Okay, subs of the encounters. The odds of getting attacked include um, uh, rubbing a tomb or a shrine. Treasure hunter, which most people hate. Weapon dealer, that should be higher. So you can do other stuff. Sleeping stuff, like I said, ignore. That's not, that's not going to end the game. I, got, I will take that out soon. Popular response. These are places where SOT has added more custom spawns. And you can disable or enable that per site. See, no, this wasn't the books. Boss Turbo Nita spawns. How do you populate a dungeon? On sale load? Yes or no? Or when they see you. Okay, now active, spot a header player, spot him back in front. See all the stuff you can set that you never had a chance to do. Now, how many spots in an outside cell? How many spots in an inside cell? I mean, this goes on and on and on. Forbid spider hallucination attacks so people don't like it. Lots of R5 wolves when the wolf pack attacks you. Boss settings, burning inferno, inferno, inferno go, you can make your fire go, now it's deadly, has she or active or not active, that determines how tough she is, does she avenge Bane and Blaine or not, pretty cool, and more controls for her, blade controls the vampire hunter, uh, Bane, the werewolf hunter, his settings. Squad leaders allow a cane devourer. You should. That's one scary little guy. We fight our death knights. Allow knights. How many assassin kills need to spawn? 15 to the limit. Allow mind flare. Some people don't like them, some people do. And then we have some system settings. Uh, this is to re level the spawns that this mod produces. You can set all different types of settings there loot settings. You can get rid of the Fletcher over in Riverwood or Stormcrow. I don't, I don't know where he's at. I forgot where, where to find the guy. Oh, this settings. Help scrolls. How about this? We actually have an explanation of what the different features mean. The apocalypse encounters, how they work. Why well, are boss the banana spawns? Well, here you go. So it's right there. Dungeon reinforcement guide. Punch of explanation. So on, so on. Unique NPCs allow a siding on that. You can set that. Health percentage to trigger help. to give you a taste of what is going to be available and most of the options work a few as you saw need to be tweaked but overall you get a lot more options than you do ever with the books hope you enjoy more to come